Oh, shoot. What is up, y'all? Cheeseburger TWR is back for another food review. Round 133, fight. Welcome back. Happy Cheeseburger TWR Friday with an offshoot. Kind of. I've argued that this sandwich is a burger previously, but <clears throat> you know how I am and what have you. I don't know if you can tell or not. I am in my work parking lot. Uh, I wanted to do a review of this sub here. There's been a lot of chatter about it on the Eat Local Macomb Uncensored page. Uh, I got the meatball sub from Square One Pizzeria in Mount Clemens. Uh, I think one person said it was not very good, but a bunch of people said it was really good. So I went out and door dashed it and am going to try it and give you the official TWR love review everything and i believe this is a first as well in the car in the cave we have customization for the first time first time we have customization i remembered the marker or there was one at my desk i don't know but yes yeah, so uh yes very nondescript white bag it looks like there was some condensation or grease or whatever this it's been sitting a minute i've been trying to get away from my desk Everything kind of stacked up within the last hour, half hour. Uh, it's about 1.30 local time currently. And uh, I feel like this is always a good look when you see this and you get like that butcher paper. Just apparently it's got like hand rolled mama's made meatballs. Uh, it's got like homemade pizza sauce, whatever. Like I said, I feel like one person kind of went off about this on... It kind of looks like a, a, a bit of a Halloween scene. That looks like that looks like the old the old red, if you will. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and the the sauce looks really good. If I'm not, or if I'm being honest, it doesn't taste good at all either. So, uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this here. Um, it looks quite messy. This is quite the looker. It's very messy. Uh, I don't have any napkins. I don't think they gave me any napkins either, but there's a lot of sauce and it looks like there are a lot of meatballs on there too. So, uh, I'm really thrilled and glad to be doing this. Uh, again, we don't do the, uh, the at work review too often, but, uh, I do fear that I'm going to go back into the office looking like a complete child but YOLO, FOMO, FAFO, PAPO, God rest. Um, but yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get after it at this point. I feel like I always do these quicker in my uh, vehicle. So um, again, I'm, no napkins. So that's never happened before. But yeah, this is quite, got quite the girth, huh? Maybe this is the, uh, the thumbnails on but yeah, there's like four or five meatballs on there. The bun is very soft. The the hoagie roll, if you will. I wonder if that's, that might be house made too. But anyway, just going to shut up and breathe and uh, tell you the regular spiel. Two chomps to you. Alonzi, happy cheeseburger TWR Friday. Uh, we don't do this too often. Have we done a Friday review before? I don't know. Go back and look because I don't know. But you know what? Here we go. Cheers. Alonzi. Mmm. Mmm. I don't like it at all. Mmm. This thing is pretty amazing. This is just water, but it's... It's my bottle though, baby. Was on the verge of getting some Klopnik. The meatballs, um, it's got a lot of spice to it. They're, they're pretty salty as well. Um, it looks like you can't really discern a lot of what's in the meatball, but. Get a look at some of that sauce there too. Mm. 
this is an awesome sub, and I can't wait to finish this. Like I said, the meatballs, they really do have that homemade vibe to it. Uh, very, they're almost mealy, so that's like kind of my only knock on it. The meatballs are almost mealy, but uh, very tender and flavorful, and it's got the proper amount of salt in there. Their pizza sauce, the sauce that they put on um, the sub here, very robust, very tomatoey, very fresh, and uh, it really comes across well. This hoagie roll, uh, the bun is super fresh as well. So like everything about this, I paid thirteen thirty one for this as well, which is awesome because it's a palindrome, and I don't like palindromes at all. But uh, I notice stuff sometimes. What can I say? So not only that, I think today's National Sandwich Day today too. So if you want to uh, go ahead and support your local businesses, especially like Square One Pizzeria in Mount Clemens, go ahead and do so because this thing is a top five all, or yes, it is a top five all day, five out of five, five out of five, bang all day. I will get this many more times going forward. And yeah, this is a gem. Like I said, had there not been any chatter in the Eat Local Macomb Uncensored Facebook group, um, I probably wouldn't have ever got this or known it existed or whatever. So again, top five, five out of five. This thing, go out and try it. If you've never had this, go to The Clem, if you will. Try it, buy it. I have like resid water in my mustache, but... Uh, if you do like that resid water in my mustache, go ahead and give me that big thumbs up and smash the like button down below. But you know how we do here at work, in the car, in the cave. Give me your best hacksaw Jim Duggan. Oh! oh! Smash that like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Comment below. Where's your favorite place to get a meatball sub? I really like Firehouse too, but... Uh, I'm not sure I've had one better than Square One Pizzeria right here in Macomb County, Michigan. Mount Clemens, I used to work at Mount Clemens. The city that I grew up in used to be called Mount Clemens, and then it got zhuzhed and changed around when growth. But yeah, with that said, I'll get you out of here in eight minutes. I will enjoy the rest of my lunch and uh, be planning for a great weekend. We might see another review on Sunday, another special one, homemade stuff that we've never done before. So there's the teaser, y'alls, baby. But in the meantime, this is where I leave you. Thank you and take care. Be memorable, my shtickheads, or be forgotten. Love y'alls. Take care. Bye-bye. Uh -huh.